This is Mike Adamese Evangel here with GameSpot at the NESL Grand Finals. Currently talking to Root Druby, who is playing in the Canadian WCS, currently in round four, going to be up against Scarlet coming up next. So just uh, initially, what are your thoughts? What were your goals coming into the Canadian WCS championships? Well, I wasn't uh, too confident coming in. The brackets are really hard. I had a good run so far, and uh, I qualified for the national or the North American Continental? Finals. Yeah, Continental. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it would be awesome if I could beat Scarlet and get top three. But I don't know, she's pretty good, so we'll see. Uh, so you just took out a uh, pretty well-known Canadian Protoss, Adderoak. Do you just walk us through those games, how they went? I do believe it was 2-1. Uh, yeah. Um, let's see what happened the first game. It was on Taldarim. Okay. So I went for uh, like a ghost timing push. I won our X expand. I pretty much always do that. And then, yeah, ghost timing push. He was really well prepared for it, so it didn't really do anything. Then uh, I went back to my base and started making Vikings because he was going Colossus, and he came and uh, started harassing me, killing some SCVs in my, you know, the gas geyser, like the fourth one that's yeah. easy to snipe. Yes. Calderim. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, he, uh, I think he got a bit ahead, but then I just got a ton of Vikings and did a pretty big, it was kind of all in. I mean, he had a third base way before me, but I just uh, went to his third and put Vikings on the, the cliff and uh, just kept going back and forth between his main and his third and uh, every time he his Colossus would go back and forth I'd like snipe one. <laughs> so I ended up killing like three Colossus for free and then I just rolled over him. So that was that was nice. Uh, game two was on daybreak. I went for, uh, he went 14 Nexus I think or like really fast Nexus and I went uh, fast third command center on one racks. I made it at my fourth base down in the bottom corner. And uh, he was going six gate all in, and his probe was going like down there to make a pylon. And he scouted my command center and then just totally owned me. <laughs> so yeah, that game was pretty bad. Uh, the last game was on... Uh, it's been a long day. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> um, let me see. What map, what map would a Terran pick? <laughs> what map would a Terran Antigua. pick? Okay. Yeah, that, a Terran would pick Antigua. Yeah. Oh, that's actually the starting map against Starlet, so that's cool. Um, yeah, so it was a pretty standard game. I opened uh, just one rack expand and three rack, and then Metavax, and I uh, pushed out, tried to drop him. He had a observer there, so I didn't drop. Nothing was happening really. Um, then he went for. Uh, like charge lots and storm, so I just made a bunch of ghosts and tried to uh, kill him. And I, it was so, I was bottom left, he was top right, and I snuck some medevacs up around past his third base, like as he was making it. It was pretty lucky that he didn't see it, and I dropped behind his uh, natural. And then I also sent a medevac into his main, and he totally, like, just didn't even notice those eight marines in his main, and they killed like 10 probes in his nexus. <laughs> So I got pretty ahead then, and uh, yeah, then I was just able to kill him three base against three base. And so looking forward then, you, as you said, you're playing Scarlet. Scarlet's already taken out both Huck and Ostagy, probably, you know, yeah. two two of the names that people would expect to see at least in the top three. So yeah. how are you feeling about going up against Scarlet here? Well, I was pretty much only practicing TVZ uh, before this tournament because I was expecting to play Zerg in round two and three if I won. and. Pretty much all the good players are Zerg here, so um, I pretty much lost like the first 20 games I played against Slush and Vibe. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I started winning, you know, getting good, co more comfortable in the late game. And uh, I heard that Scarlet plays macro and kind of does the same thing every game, so um, not too worried about getting cheesed. So hopefully, I can uh, just play the strategy that I've been practicing and. Uh, Maybe win, maybe at least there'll be epic games. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. So, and just to talk a bit more general about what you're doing, you've kind of moved on from uh, complexity, you've reformed uh, Root with Cats, uh, you're now living in Peru. So, if you just want to talk a little bit about that, how, how that's all going, everything settling down down there, coming together? Yeah, well, we've been down there for three months now. I actually uh, I got a 90 day visa when I went there, and the WCS was like the 89th day, so that was cool, perfect timing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, about the first month or so we were there, we didn't have internet, so 
were just uh, you know hanging out, having fun. Peru's pretty cool. Uh, Katz has a lot of friends there. Everybody's super friendly, and they all speak English, so it's a, yeah, it's a lot of fun. And uh, then we finally got internet, and uh, just been practicing pretty hard. Uh, and we yeah remade Roots, so it's been a lot of work getting stuff going again. Uh, you know, making the website and trying to get sponsors. We made a pretty awesome deck to send to sponsors, and uh, so yeah, it's been a lot of work, and I've been practicing a lot but everything's going really good and I'm enjoying it in Peru. And so in terms of Roots, uh, you know, you guys have picked up a lot of players recently, a lot of lesser known North American players, but uh, you know, very solid players, players that have done well in the ladder, online cups. Uh, you know, where, where do you see Root going and, and how involved are you along with Cats in terms of, uh, you know, a lot of the decision making? I, I know, uh, I believe you guys brought on some more management people as opposed to when you originally had Root, it was more, uh, more just kind of you guys running the show. Yeah, I think we learned our lesson with the uh, the first time around. We kind of tried to do everything ourselves, and we didn't have a clue about the business side. Um, but there's a lot more money in esports now, and uh, one of Cat's best friends in Peru, who's a business major, he's he's pretty awesome, and he knows what he's doing. So, uh, yeah, I'm confident that we'll be able to get some good sponsors and keep the team around this time. And, um, yeah, we're we're pretty involved, you know, planning out everything, and yeah. All right, well, thanks for the interview, Drewby. Uh, good luck against Scarlet. Is uh, there anything you'd like to add at all? Um, no, I'd maybe just uh, shout out to uh, Rush Order Tees, who we just announced uh, yesterday. It's our first main sponsor. Pretty awesome. They're uh, nice new shirts, you know. <laughs> That's about it. And, uh, yeah, thanks to uh, everyone in Root for helping me practice for WCS. And uh, maybe to my fans, thanks for uh, supporting me. All right, thanks again, Drewby. <laughs> no problem.